stop it. Oh god, the eye thing! Ah! Damn it, my eyes. Oh, and now it's night five. Oh. Okay, night five is gonna start, and it's time to bring my A game. If I beat night five, oh, I beat the game. It's a one star ending, but I beat it. Oh, oh. hey, good job, night five. Um, hey, uh, keep a close eye on things tonight, okay? Uh, from what I understand, the building is on lockdown, and no one is allowed in or out, you know, especially concerning any previous employees. Um, when we get it all sorted out, we may move you to the day shift. This one just became available. Uh, we don't have a replacement for your shift yet, but we're working on it. Uh, we're going to try to contact the original restaurant owner. Uh, I think the name of the place was... Red Bear's Family Diner or something like that. It's closed for years though, I doubt we'll be able to track anybody down. Uh, so just get through one more night. Uh, hang in there. Good night. Alright, one more night. One more night, that's all. One more night. One more night and I can call this game Beats until I have enough confidence and skill to play Night 6. gonna focus as hard as I can on what's going on. If I'm, 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 this is definitely going to be the hardest night so far, with exception of any extra game modes that I decide to play. gonna put my hood on three three times and they should be gone I'm noticing that if Scott believes in the holy number of video games if you don't know what that is that number is three ah uh, one two three one two three yep yep, yep nope done done I'm totally going to die. Okay. Not sure if that means it's too late. I have to check later. No laughing, no merriment. Two, three. That's out. An EMP. <laughs> ah! Shite. Shite. Uh. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. That was night five. <laughs> that was night five. I'm not sure how late I made it. I didn't look at the clock once. I was just like, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh my, oh me, oh my. What and what am I going to do? It's 12 a.m. right now. I did not want to put the hood on. I wanted to take the first few seconds of the night to uh, go ahead and wind that. So, I 
Dear eyes only you want viewers. I have no idea what I would do in this situation. Besides die. <laughs> no merriment! That's my reaction to your laughter. No merriment. You get to be happy when I'm happy, balloon boy. No, no, not hello. Hello. No. Balloon boy, no hello for you. So the puppet is awful. Do not like the puppet. You're gonna cost me the game! <laughs> Got me! Got me! Mini game? Damn it. Time to continue. By the way, if you really love this series, a game theory has a great. Uh, two-part series about this game and its predecessor and the timeline. So... No, this is not a good thing to eat. Uh... To, yeah. Do not eat while playing this game. Do not drink while playing this game. Do not play this game when you are holding it. In fact, if you have to go to the bathroom, you should really just go. Do not know how many times I have to flash that thing, but I know I do. Stop making noise in my air vents! It's 1 a.m. and I've used up so much battery. How am I gonna do this? Oh, Chica. Chica's there. Was as fast as I could get that hat on. As fast as I could get that hat on. Okay. My heart needs a second. And while I'm taking this second, I'm gonna talk about just how good this game is while you're playing it. Now, this this game, there's a lot of people saying that this game is very scary. To which, I have to say, 
You need to play this game. You need to play it, not watch it. Um, there is a whole lot to this game that you need to keep track of while you're playing it. And the atmosphere sucks you in. If you have a hard time being immersed in a video game, this is not the video game for you. In fact, if you're having a hard time being immersed watching it, uh, that's reasonable. Most of the immersion actually comes from checking the monitor, winding the music box, and flashing the flashlight, and putting on the, the, the Fazbear head which obstructs your view just enough not to be useful. One thing I'm not sure about is why you can't have the Fazbear hood on and watch the computer monitors. I think that was just a technical difficulty. I'm not sure if Scott could confirm that if he ever sees this. I don't know if he'll see this, but uh, that would be great. I would be really interested in talking with him about his design choices for this game. Uh, I have to say, uh, this game gets a, like a solid 4 out of 5 for me. And why only 4 out of 5? And that is because I feel there's some room for improvement. Um, the Death Mini Games, they tell the backstory of this game. Not enough to break the horror, but enough of the backstory to let people know what's going on. Those could be a little less random. Um, this might, I might just be getting a bad art in a uh, random number generator, though. Uh, this, this menu screen has some animation for the animatronics. The animatronics are not animated. Oh. Oh, excuse me. I've been holding my breath, so... Yawning to get more oxygen in my lungs. The... Animatronics could use... A little more animation... In that they... Like, they change positions here. They don't have to move while you're looking at them. I'm fine with their statuesque staring into your soul. But it would be neat if they flicker, or if they, like how Bonnie is just like open mouth all of a sudden, or old Bonnie, while they're, uh, yeah. It would be neat. It would be a neat thing. Um, I'm not sure if that would take away from the game in any meaningful way, but it's neat. I, w I, w I think it would be a good addition. Uh... <laughs> Other improvements. I would give there some special bonus or some player incentive to check the other cameras. Right now, when you check the other cameras, there's not a whole lot going for you for it. Because the primary strategy to this game is bounce between hallway, music box, vents, hallway, music box, vents. Checking the, checking the cameras, like looking at the cameras where the robots are, then you give a point. That should be some kind of added bonus for the player. But that's me. Um, giving the player anything more is very dangerous in a horror game because part of the horror in this game is that there's nothing you can do. You're just sitting there waiting and hoping and praying that you make it through the night. All right. Five Nights at Freddy's to a night five. We're doing it. One more time into the breach, folks. One more time. <sighs>